start recording. <laughs> My bad, I didn't know. Hi guys, my name is Demoria. Welcome back to the channel. I think I got you up too high. Let me see. Come down just a little bit. I don't know, I feel like it does matter. It does make a difference. Is it too much like negative space up here in the top? I think I need to kind of fill up the frame, right? And I need to scoot over a little bit because I'm gonna pop in some, some stuff for you guys to see because today we are going to go shopping for my bathroom. If you watched my last video whenever I decorated my dining room, I talked about how I needed to do my hair and I just decided to do the same hairstyle. But whenever I was doing my hair, I realized how inconvenient it was. Combs and stuff were under my bed and containers. I have stuff all over the place and I'm not taking care of my skin the way I need to because it's really inconvenient for me to have to dig around every day to get to my skincare products. And it's gonna be easier if I just go ahead and organize my bathroom. Whenever I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with the bathroom, I went ahead and just went on Pinterest, I looked up bathrooms with wallpaper. So there's this inspiration that I saw and whenever I saw it, I was like, no need to look any further, this is it right here. It's this mid-century modern bathroom. And it, I mean, it's giving living room vibes in the bathroom, it's gorgeous because of the chunky frames that they have. I don't have any art with chunky frames, but I would like to get one with a really big, thick gold frame so I can get this look in my bathroom. Once I decided this is what I want to try to achieve, I went back on Amazon looking for black and white wallpaper. I saw this pop up. This is a wall decal. And the great thing about this is I don't have to put up whole sheets of wallpaper. I don't have to cut it to accommodate the door frame or the mirror. I can just put the stickers up on the wall. And I wanna get replacement cubes for my storage. I have cloth storage in there now and I wanna change it to wicker. And I saw some in Ikea a while ago. So I wanna go in Ikea and see if they still have those. And if so, I'll pick up six of those. I'm really feeling like that's all I need besides a rug. Wall decals from Amazon. Cube storage from Ikea. Rug from I don't know where. The list is getting longer. Possibly a frame from Goodwill or a thrift store. All right, so let me show you what the bathroom looks like. This little mat right here, um, it looks okay. I wanna replace that as well. But this is my sink and it, I don't know what type of material this is. This is actually spray painted on here because it, it chips around. Toilet, of course, nothing exciting about that. I hate really looking at toilets to be honest with you. And this is where I have my things stored. This is my little cube storage that I have and I have all the things in here. These are like some of my headbands and things. These are vitamins that I haven't even opened yet because I have no place for them. I have this one turned backwards because I got hair color on it. So it looks so bad, I decided to turn it backwards. I have like hair products in here, and my little medicine drawer. More personal care products. And then here is our tub and shower. And I actually have, oh, did it run out? I had a bunch of Clorox trying to get the chlorine smell in here. Typically, you know, I keep that closed. So if my roommate decides she wants to shower, she can just go in here and not have to worry about walking in or disturbing me. And back here, I keep my, my house coat and my towel here because I can't use the rack because I have these things. So, if I put three shelves right here above the toilet, all these items right here will be able to fit above the toilet really easily. And then that'll free up the top space here. I'll have all that surface area that I can use for, you know, whatever I need to. So, I did see shelves in Home Depot whenever I went, um, whenever I was looking for shelving to go above the washer and the dryer because that's something that I was considering doing. And it's actually the same thing that I want to put over the shelf in the, I mean, over the toilet in the bathroom. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to head out. I'll probably stop by Chick-fil-A or something and then we'll go to Home Depot and then to Ikea. And I have my little glasses back here charging because I'm gonna take you guys inside. Oh Lord, y'all rocking. Y'all not stable. Oh Lord. Ooh. Yes, it is. Yes, right here is the order, and right here is that token. You're all set. Thank you. So I pleasure, I you too. Ciao. I gotta figure out how to mount my phone in my car 
if I'm gonna drive you guys around. Otherwise, I have to put you on my phone, which is a lot safer <laughs> until I can figure that out. But the quality isn't good. But I think right now what I'm gonna do, because there's a Goodwill right here, I'm gonna swing by Goodwill before we head to Home Depot. And then we'll make Ikea our last stop. All right, guys, I just got finished eating my Chick-fil-A. I just got a Nuggets Kids meal. And um, I'm parked outside of Goodwill. I'm about to run in here and see if they have a, a you know, a nice chunky frame, something affordable. And I have my, my Ojo Sunshine camcorder glasses with me, but I'm wondering if I should just take this just to give it a try because I don't, I don't do that. I don't take my vlogging camera inside of stores because it feels uncomfortable for me. But I'm like, let me try to push myself to do something different. So, because I know for sure when I go on Ikea, I'm not gonna take these in here. I mean, I'm not gonna take my vlogging camera, I'm gonna take these in Ikea. So, I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna, you know, just see what it feels like right now to carry this camera and try to vlog on it. Cause I do need to work my way out of that. All right, so here's the frames. I don't see anything that I was hoping to see. Hmm, that could be something for the kitchen. That would be cute in the kitchen, I think. How much is this? Three ninety? Why not? This frame is like really thick and substantial. Maybe I could paint this gold. How much is this? $3.09. Okay. This one. That one could be good. $3.09. But I only need like one though. This one. That could work. I would just have to change the art in it. And now I'm beginning to think this is not a good idea. I feel like this is giving that feel of the inspiration I saw. So I think I'll go with these. All right guys, so I am just now pulling up to Home Depot and I did pretty good with just going in Goodwill with my camera. I didn't feel weird about it, but it wasn't that many people in there. Um, I felt like that's what I was supposed to be doing. I'm gonna take my camera with me again because I'm gonna have a buggy. Yeah, it was kind of hard though because my purse is really small and I couldn't put you guys in my purse because I had my phone in here. Once I put my keys and my phone in here, that's about all the room I have. Look at the color on that. Oh my goodness, it is so pretty. I love this. Look at this color. It's coral. Oh my goodness. This is the color of the flowers I have in the dining room. I wish I could take these home and just like keep them alive on the dining room table in a beautiful flower pot. Oh, that would be gorgeous. But these are outdoor plants. I absolutely love these. Every time I come to Home Depot, I just have to admire the flowers. This is stuff I was talking about right here. And before I left the house, I did measure to see the length I would need. And I can't go beyond 38 inches, but I would like to keep it around 34 inches. I see this 10 by 36, so that might work. This probably would be the best color because of the floors. I mean, it's not real wood anyway. I can always like cover it with contact paper if I want to change it or paint it, so 
This is $9. So if I get three of these, that'll be 30. And then I can always bring back whatever I don't use. Now we do have, I do have silver hardware, but I don't really care for silver and my frames are gonna be gold. So we're just gonna mix our metals, which is okay. Mm, I don't like that. That one's cute. And this is actually wood, it's not metal. I like that. All right, so I'm looking at the prices of these. All of these are like $10. If I get three shells plus six brackets to hold them up, I'm gonna spend like $100. But if I get them on Amazon, I'll be paying like $5 each. So I saw two different kinds on Amazon. Like they have these, which are okay with me. And then both are black, half the price. So I'm just gonna order those so I can save myself $30. So yeah, we're gonna pay for this stuff and head to Ikea. All right guys, I just left Home Depot and stopped at QT to get gas because we about to be in traffic. It's Saturday. It's 4.31. I should have did this at 10 o'clock this morning. I'm acting like I'm on a road trip. Peanut butter crackers, a blow pop, and some water. I need to stop leaving the house without water. I have water at home. I gotta stop, because all these little dollars and cents add up. But anyway, let's go get in this traffic. Let's get in these streets. Starting route to Ikea. this thing. All right guys, hello. It is a brand new day and it's not early in the morning. I know whenever I'm looking at YouTube and somebody says, hi, you know, I'm back, it's a new day. In my head, I'm like, okay, it's morning. You know, they probably just had some coffee because I normally drink my coffee whenever I'm watching YouTube. And then they'll say something like, but it's in the afternoon. And I'm like, girl, what you been doing? Like, we've been waiting on you and you, you know, been doing your thing and you ain't let us in on it. <laughs> but anyway, I understand, you know, people have things to do. Yesterday, I went to a few stores. I got this. I saw this and I was like, let me go ahead and get this now because I come back, it's not gonna be here. This is for the kitchen. So cute. And if we don't use it, that's fine because my roommate is gonna help me with the kitchen. So her input is gonna be needed and I'll let her decide if she wants to keep this or not. But I think that's really cute. I got this. This is kind of chunky. It doesn't have all the ornate detail that the ones had on the inspiration photo, but this is thick. It stands out on the side too. So I think this is good. And as far as the art inside, it's not bad at all. It looks like fall to me. It'll work, I think. Because my colors are gonna be really neutral and it'll add some pop of color. And this is just gonna give me options. Each one was $3.09. And this one, of course, does not have art in it. So I would have to put some art in it. But the reason why I like this one is because the art that they had on the inspiration picture was like big and chunky. This isn't chunky. It has a very thin frame, like those old school frames. 
but because it has this inlay inside of it, I don't know what you call this, but it just gives it more gold for the eye to look at and then the art is in the middle. So it's, you know, got a bigger border around it. So I thought that was a good way to incorporate that look for a good price. I'll probably look online and just find like a digital print that I can get printed at FedEx or something and put it in this frame if I decide to use it, which I really think I will use this because I like the size. It's a small one. And the last thing I got for the bathroom is this. And whenever I was in Goodwill, I was thinking I would change the art in this too. But I'm thinking I'll leave it alone because if I keep this uh, art in the other frame and keep this, both of them are red. And I don't typically do red, but this does have some coral in it, which helps me tolerate that uh, red a little better. And then these two pieces of art will complement each other. So, and then that'll make it cheaper for me. So the only art I'll have to concern myself with is the one that doesn't have any art in it. Then after we went to Goodwill, we went to Home Depot and we picked up the shelves. They're sitting right here in front of me on the floor. But I did hold them up in the bathroom behind the toilet where I want to place them to see what they look like. I like the way they look. The length I chose was perfect. I got, I think, 34 inches. I think I'm going to take one back because two would be plenty. I feel like if I put three, it's going to make the bathroom look really closed in and it's going to make it look top heavy. Another thing that happened while I was in Home Depot, I was looking to see what type of bracket I was going to use to hold the shelves up. And brackets are expensive. I decided to check out Amazon to see if they had better prices and they did. So I put a couple in my cart just to hold them until I made my decision. But whenever I was in Ikea going to pick up my baskets, I ran across some shelf brackets. I picked up six of these for $12 for all six of them. These were $2 a piece, so I was really excited about that. This is the only color they had, but that's fine. I feel like they know people are going to paint these. They're cheap. Why we go through the problem of having different colors when we can just make them all one color and leave it up to the people to make them whatever color they want to. So I really appreciate Ikea for this because this is going to save me a ton of money. I didn't actually film that part. I went back in Ikea after I got everything because I was like, let me go in here because I didn't get any footage to make a short. It was a hot mess trying to get that short. It's like people knew I was filming and they were like telling me, hey, your phone's over there. There was a bunch of kids around and I don't know if they did this on purpose. They looked like they were extras on a, on a movie set. It was real cute. While I was just doing my little walkthrough, I ran to this so It was a success, okay? That's all I have for you guys. Oh, wait a minute, I'm not finished. I totally forgot. Okay, so, you know, we went into Ikea specifically for baskets. Why are these too big for my cube storage? So I can't use these. And I'm kind of sad about it because I could just see it, it would make it look really rich. It would like just level it up in there. I'm also happy about it because my total came to $130. So I can return these and get my money back. I can look on Amazon and find a different type of basket to go into my cube storage. Now that is everything that I have for now for my bathroom. I'm going to wait for the shipment from Amazon to come in. And then whenever I come back to you, I will do the bathroom. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. I feel like this is like the easiest video I've filmed in a long time. This is like weird review easy. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting that like button, maybe subscribing to my channel, that would be wonderful. And I will see you guys in the next one.